Hello, my friends. Jacob is here again. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for pressing play, for spending a little time with me. Oh, this show is just, uh, it doesn't, I don't think it's, I think it's not crazy enough. I don't think it's crazy enough for all of you. You're going to be in for a nice little ride today. Yes, indeed. There's so many things going on. We got professors from Oxford saying all sorts of kooky things about aliens that are impregnating us and becoming good hybrid DNA. And we got scientists in China making all sorts of weird things come to life. It's just bonkers. It's bonkers. I was going to do the show about this whale that, you know, was harnessed. Remember in Russia? Remember when they were getting in trouble because they were keeping all these whales captive, like in like a whale prison? whales. It's, it's terrible. These are incredible animals that they were uh, keeping in chains. And so this, this whale shows up and uh, it's a beluga and it had a harness on it. It said like property of St. Petersburg. They were like weaponizing whales. That was the news. But I thought, you know what? No, it's a, uh, <laughs> I called up Jason. You know, my buddy Jay over at I Am Chris, he's got a really cool YouTube channel with all the cool fun funky music and the and the bips and the bops and the bippity boops. He's a very cool dude, he's very cool, very insightful. Got a lot of, you should check out his channel. Anyway, so I call him up because I was just, I was feeling like something was missing, you know? I, I was gonna talk about the, the, uh, the, um, the professor over there at Oxford and the aliens. talk about that. I was going to talk about the, uh, the, the, uh, the Navy, right? The Navy where they're, they've just decided that they're going to be all new so sets of guidelines for UFOs. So like when they tell people that you, we saw a UFO, they're not going to think it's baloney anymore. They're going to take it seriously. There's a whole new, I was going to talk about that. As I talked to Jason, I said, I want to talk about this. I go, but I didn't feel like it was goofy enough. I didn't think it was out there enough. And Jason's like, yeah, isn't it sad that it's gotten to the point where things are so crazy that, um, you know, just a, uh, a whale with a harness isn't something to talk about. I don't know, people, but I hope you buckled up because the stuff I'm going to talk about today, oh my goodness, the movies, it's becoming, it's becoming reality. It's called predictive programming. They've been telling us this for years, and now they're just doing it. Now it's just happening. It's out there. So I hope you're ready. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, yesterday, yesterday I'm talking. Hi. Yesterday I'm talking to all of you about jellyfish. <laughs> if you haven't seen this, check this show out. It's, um, and, uh, and now I'm talking to you about uh, alien hybrids, right? Hybrids, because when I did talk to Jason, you see that was a breadcrumb. It was a breadcrumb. I had a show, but I only had half of a show and then he gave me the other piece of the puzzle. Hybrids, there's this merging today that's going on and it's all connected, right? It's all connected. It's connected to Planet Nine, Planet X, Nibiru. It's all connected. It's all connected. The Anunnaki, right? That's the story. Those that have fallen from heaven, I guess that's what the Anunnaki mean. Those from heaven above, now here. I don't know. I don't know. But they, they're the supposedly, they're these, uh, that they tinkered with the genetic makeup of the human race. And there's a lot of people that believe this stuff. There's a lot of people that actually think that there are insect aliens. Yeah, I mean, and that's cool because, I mean, there's like cave drawings of these things and there's a lot of different um, you know, uh, ancient faiths that used to put their faith in it. M Mantis aliens, right? There's, you know, so they have these classes of aliens, supposedly. And I'm not saying I buy into this, but, you know, I did just watch Endgame and I do watch these movies and it's kind of like, you know, we've been told that they're aliens and they're all different for years. Okay, so you have these insect aliens, you got these reptile aliens, you got these gray aliens, you got all these aliens, right? Well, these supposedly these praying mantis aliens, they're like, uh, I guess, part, partly interdimensional, some people say, like this Oxford professor. And, uh, 
Yeah, so he goes on there and he's telling people, he's telling people, listen to this. He claims that the aliens are among us. Dr. Young Hei Chi teaches at Oxford University. Now, before we get into, he just teaches Korean. All right, he's not like an astrophysicist. He teaches Korean. I'm not diminishing it. You, know, you get, the, you get the, the headline, Oxford scientists says aliens are among us, creating hybrid races to survive the climate change apocalypse. And you start thinking, okay, he's an Oxford guy. You take it seriously. And then I read up and it's like, it, really? You, you, you teach Korean? That's it? You're Korean. It's like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I've, I was a little let down, but this guy's been all over the place. He's talked about this for a while. He believes that there is this, this is going on. He gets this is like there's some hybrids, hybrids uh, that these the aliens are, you know, crossbreeding, and that it's important for the survival of not just the human race but their race. So he's like, you know, he's coming out and he's saying this stuff. And I don't want to put anybody down. And I don't want to say that the guy's goofy. I'm not going to say that. Because what do I know, right? I don't know much. I don't even tell you what the belief. What I tell you to do is go to teach me the truth, no matter what the cost. I, 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 I want you to seek more, to find more, to know more. Do I know if they're the reptile praying mantis or gray aliens? I don't know. I don't know. But this guy says, this, this guy says, that they, they exist, so they must, right? <laughs> From Oxford, he teaches Korean. Dr. Young Hei Chi is quoted as saying, so they come not for our sake, but for the sake of them, for their survival, because their survival is our survival. And then you get into all the uh, thinking of like, well, what's chemtrailing, right? Is it terraforming? Are we getting the planet ready for the aliens? Yeah, a lot of people believe that this is what's coming in. I'm not, I'm not saying that I don't believe it. I, I, it would, I mean, it would be devastating and terrible, right? And scary. But it would be cool. I mean, you know, to think about it, it would be cool, right? You don't got to worry about going to work, right? You just got to worry about surviving. <laughs> I'm laughing because I had this conversation with my buddy Noah, uh, my boy. He's my buddy too. He's my best buddy. He's my firstborn. Yeah, I, I'm having this conversation with Noah about this, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, it would be it would be kind of cool, be exciting, something to do." Just survive. I said, yeah, well, you know, hot showers are nice too. <laughs> hot showers are nice too. That being said, we've been programmed for a long time to think this way. Maybe there's a reason. Maybe all this stuff that we talk about from space to black holes, there's some black hole crazy stuff going on. I don't even want to get into that. I'll do it another time. But this guy, I mean, he sounds a little far out there that they're these, inter you know, these invisible praying mantis insectoid aliens that are hybrids that are impregnating us somehow. I don't know how it happens, but it's happening. Um, whether they're using, like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it works. But I will say that a Taiwan news organization, actually, uh, a little while ago, I guess I did a little, re little research on this. I can't, I, I, I did research on it's not, you know, I know, you, so imagine going to the library, instead of just uh, using DuckDuckGo, you go to the library and you say, hey, can you give me all the books about insects that are aliens that are crossbreeding? And he's like, here's, here's the one book written by the dude in Oxford. That's true. All right, let's move on. Hybrids. There, I was going to talk about that. Hybrids, right? Hybrid aliens. It's cool. It's interesting. It's interesting. It is interesting. I mean, there are, there are like a lot of cave drawings and stuff. Eh, some ancient belief. It's possible. I had a bunch of praying mantises in my backyard, little baby praying mantis. It was weird. It was weird uh, last year. It was very cool. It was very cool. We had life everywhere. We had like bunnies. We had like turtles. We had praying mantises. It was weird. And we had morning doves. It was like all one year. It was last year. This year, I haven't seen anything yet. I don't know if that's boding well. But my fig tree, I'm going to plant it soon. And I think it's going to bear fruit this summer. Remember, we thought it was dead. It's not dead. It's actually flourishing. And I can't wait to plant it. I'll bring you along. So I called Jason up, right? And I call him up. And, and I, he asked me what I'm going to be talking about on my show today. And I tell him a little bit. And I tell him about the thing, right? And we laugh, we get a good chuckle because it's not, you know, it's not goofy or crazy enough to talk about. It's not out there enough harnessed whales that we've come to this point. He said, very funny guy. You should check out his channel. He tells me about the monkeys in China. Yeah, that the uh, the Chinese scientists. Now, you know, they did some some really weird stuff. They've cloned baby. They, they've taken credit for cloning a baby. That was a big deal. Right now, what they've been doing, they took these monkeys, 
11 of them? 11, there's that number again, 11, see it everywhere. The uh, MCPH1 uh, gene, they put this into the, uh, the, the, these rhesus monkeys, um, not to be confused with um, pieces or cups. The uh, rhesus monkeys and um, six of them died, but the, the ones that were left over, the ones that lived, you know, that when this gene, this human gene, um, that's, you know, basically in the brain and is used for childhood development, the development of the brain. So they basically went and they took the monkey and they put the, the, the gene in the brain so that the brain would develop as a, a child. And it's doing that. And, and, and the monkeys, they're smarter and they have better re uh, retention time and better memory. And their brain is no bigger than the, um, its peers that haven't had the gene, but it is, it is developing like a child. That's the dumbest idea I have ever heard. The dumbest. Not, I mean, the dumbest. How many movies have we seen, right? I mean, that was the plot. That was the plot of Planet of the Apes. That was the remake, 2011, right? It was, that was the plot where you know, the, the, the whole thing with the um, Alzheimer's famous and, and, the, and the, the, the mess with the genetic makeup and, and next thing you know, you got Caesar. And, uh, and then Caesar is then, in, you know, and next thing you know, you got war with the animals. You got war with the animals in a terrible plague. And they're like, yes, this is what we should do. We should put the brains of humans into the monkeys, right? That's no big deal. You know that in 2010, Nature Magazine published a report suggesting that non-human primates with sections of human DNA implanted their genomes at the embryonic stage, which is what they did through a process called transgenics, might develop self-awareness to the point where they, they'll be miserable and they'll, they'll want to rebel. That was the warning back in 2010. That was the warning. And they're like, just, just do it. You know what? And listen, I gotta tell you something. I um I couldn't get an interview with one of the monkeys, but I I um you know I, I asked them to uh, just send over a recording just to say hi to everybody and uh, tell me what the experience is like, you know, now having uh, the brains of a human. And um well, let me just play that for you right now. Hey, I used to be just a monkey, you know, just a monkey, you know, scratching my butt eating my bananas until these crazy scientists from China came over and they put they put a bunch of DNA in my brain. And now, no more scratching my butt. No, I'm smart. I do Sudoku and I'm going to overthrow the human race. <laughs> this is where it gets weird, okay? So, do you remember a little while ago we heard about Zika? I don't know if there's a connection to this, okay? I haven't done any thorough research. I literally, it's like a couple of hours after I talked to Jason and all of a sudden the show is formulating, okay? But as I'm doing the, uh, as I'm doing the research on this and I look into the microcephalin gene, that MCPH1, um, you know what's interesting is that when it's implanted into people, um, sometimes it can cause microcephaly. It can mutate. It can mutate and create this microcephaly, which is, you know, the small heads and severe brain damage. Now, what's interesting is that a couple of years ago, we were hearing about that everywhere, right? And they were saying that it was because of Zika, but other people were saying that it was because it was, it was a certain kind of genetically altered mosquito. Could it be? Are there like, are they genetically altering these mosquitoes? Yes, they are. We know this and they release them, but how are they genetically altered? I don't know, you see? And now you're all worried about going out for the summer, you're gonna get bit, right? Okay, just be smart, just be smart. You're not gonna get microcephaly if you get bit by a mosquito right now. That was only in pregnant women, supposedly, but we don't even know if it's Zika. For all we know, Chinese scientists. I don't know, I'm not saying they did it, but I'm saying that that could happen with this gene. Just a weird little, little side note that I found out. All these things, man. Man, they're just messing with nature and they're, they're playing God and they're doing things they shouldn't be doing. And uh, nothing good comes of that stuff. Hey, hey, I got an idea. Let's make monkey smarter than us. Yeah, do you know that there's a uh, like a, a very slight 
uh, genetic difference between a chimpanzee and the humans. It's like minimal, it's like small. So you can fill them up with the brains, the brains of a human. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't know. So that's the, uh, that's the show, everybody. I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you, uh, get you, get you thinking. But it seems to me that like hybrids are a big thing. Hybrids, that's what you're doing, it's hybrids. Uh, man and beast becoming one, right? Or insects from aliens and, and, and man becoming one. Hybrids, hybrids. Spiritual message in that is something new is being born. I certainly hope that the hybrid that we start to talk about is that of heaven and earth coming together as one. Wasn't that nice? Wasn't that sweet what I just said? Just came up with that. I didn't, I didn't write that ahead of time. Just, just in the flow. I love each and every one of you. I hope you hit the bell, you subscribe and you share the videos and you leave a comment and you like because you know that that stuff is important. And of course, if you want to support the channel, you have the Patreon and you can get yourself, you know, the coolest mug in the world, the Uranus mug. Uranus is a planet. It makes, makes people smile in the morning. It's an important, it's an important cup. And uh, I love all of you. Hope you have the best day ever and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Jacob Israel. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and share this channel around. If these shows have helped you, help Jacob to reach more any way you can and have the best day ever.